So Connor, can you please tell our two listeners what is the creepiest part of Christmas lore? Yes, gather around, gather around. Uh, we're gonna take a minute in the storytelling Krampus corner and just take a moment to consider how terrifying it is that there is a point zero 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 one percent that your children will make a snowman that will come to life with no memories, with no idea of who it is as a person. Uh, we take it for granted that this, the telling of this story is as wholesome as it actually was. But if you think about it, if all of a sudden a frozen, mysterious figure starts running around a village, followed by children that summoned it into existence, that's that you got to imagine all, all those parents, all those adults were watching this happen, like clutching their pearls, wondering, should I interfere? Will that anger the snowman? What does it want? Yeah. Will it release I, our children? I feel like it's beyond pearl clutching. I feel like they're they're like, I need to get a shovel so I can I can scoop this guy away or something. There's no other magic in this in this song for all intents and purposes. This is the only magical thing that's ever happened to these people. And only only a police officer is bold enough to even address the living snowman. And he only gets him to stop for but a moment. Cannon, <laughs> cannon, <laughs> when he hollers, stop. And then he's back to his hijinks, running around town with these children under a spell. Are they enjoying this? Do they know how scary this is? What's going on exactly? All we know is that there are dark forces at work animating snowmen. 